Welcome everyone. Finally, new episode of Adventures at Your Doorstep after a longer break while summer was yeah giving us a hard time and uh, some other duties I had to do first. Making some new movies felt short. Now I have a long weekend ahead and uh, the weather today is not so hot. It's like 26, 27 degrees. Slight overcast coming in and so I decided well there's uh, some stuff I'd like to see I've never been before in the Blackwood Forest and um, there's a museum that recently opened there is a path within the woods I wanted to see and there are two abandoned monasteries in between those points I've never been before I want to check out them as well so that's pretty sure a day trip or even more starting for now at the museum that's those buildings down there they're pretty new and there's also a pathway with in between those trees um, as you can see there in the back there's also some stuff for the winter sports going up there I think people would ski down there no summer skiing <laughs> as far as I can see well so I also brought camera equipment and stuff so let's check out the museum first and then we will see what the day brings let's join me will you so that's the outside they used a special design for the building itself as you can see this outside material is made out of wood So like I said, that's the building of the museum, there's an exhibition part and then there's the part on the side where you can walk out here to this bridge. This is for free, you don't have to pay any entrance. It's just leading into the part of the woods beside the museum. Quite cool. So this is a ski jump area. There's some towel we got up there in a minute. Nothing for people with uh, height fear. <laughs> quite interesting. We'll visit a, a similar or no, not a similar but also the second point where you can get within the trees so it will be interesting to see the difference of the concepts it's quite interesting let's let's check out the tower so these are the steps and then on the tower museum where we came from it's 
ski slope we saw. Wow, and then really nice 360 view above the trees, ski jump area. Back to the museum. Really nice concept. So you have the walkway within between the trees and an overlook view. Again, whatever you do, don't look down. It's really cool. That's the other platform we've been just a second ago. Again, like the same with the, the castle we visited before, the different shapes of the mountain way within between here, where you can go in between different mountain backs. We have walkways up there. Surely not for me today. You see the cows there. It's a little romantic touch, but on the same hand, <laughs> you can have the wind wheels. I think that's also sightseeing tower. There. A little cabin there for picnic, for some lunch or whatnot. I think they have excursion groups as well, with somebody leading you in between there, explaining a little more stuff. Really lucky today with the weather, with the overcast. Sun is not hot at all. Right, so that's the starting point. I don't want to film inside the museum. They say it's allowed for private use. Probably this would be a private use, but I recommend you Natur Park Schwarzwald. Check it out on the internet for the place where it is and then uh, come here and see it for yourself take a look around here maybe I try to come back in the winter if we have some snow up here probably looks like a total different place snow there snow there we'll see so that's it from the tower and then uh, we take over or we make the commute over to the second place where are the pathways in between the trees see you guys there Nice idea. Just really little room. Small sitting chances. And then fresh air coming from there. Taking a calm look into the woods. So even people not so friendly with the woods because of all all the flies and all the bugs. And sit here, enjoy a moment of silence. Which are also interesting with the different, different light uh, and shadow games throughout the days and uh, the seasons. Sure, quite interesting. For sure, if there's a snow time this winter, I'll be back here. 
take a look here. So, naturally fallen over, I hope so, rotten its way. You can view it within the years it takes. This one as well. And you can see this, this place has just been built, what, like maximum two years. And with the growments on the wood, you can see this is much, much older than only two years. Wow. Nice room. I can only highly recommend this. Still a part of the museum, but a part which is for free. No entrance, no nothing. Just came back from the tower down there. And that's a separate room. Really great. Well, one more one more quick stop before we get back to the car. The car is parked just up there. The museum is in between the woods there and the tower there. So we saw this ski jump area and I saw the walkway there is free to pass them by. So I thought I'd take the chance for all of you who've never seen such a ski jump place from up close. And it's not a big one, it's a a short one I would say. So for technical references that's a starter house or jump house I'm not sure what the right name is and they're sitting there on small benches and in between those two hmm, is this wooden piles or something that would be the track with two slopes for the skis and you would come down there until this white spot let's see where my finger is so this white spot there and this is where you would leave those sloop and get catapulted in the air flying for some distance down the hill and then landing somewhere here because then there that's the break even point probably not the right word but as you can see, it's going down, 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 and then you should land, because after flying, it's getting even. And then you're landing, and to take off the speed you're coming down with, it's going uphill here, so it takes out your speed, your braking, and then your jump is over. What I just read on the placard there, because also they found out at the winters not so good anymore in terms of the snow so you can see this silver pipes hanging in there got one more there and one nice visible here we we'll take a closer look at the one here not the one in the background, those are flag poles. <laughs> and that's a lightning mast. But these things there, you connect them, you connect them with a water hose down there. And then you you give this pipe a high pressure water. There's a sort of vaporizer at the top that sprays um, fine water into the air and because it's cold this water will crystallize and what's then crystallized will look like and feel like snow even though it's not real snow it's um, yeah man-made snow but still it will give you the white surface you need to make winter sports again one more look the big one they have a smaller one i think they even have this is it an old one or a training one coming out below there going down again need to look for my finger going down here and one going down there 
I think for different um, yeah age groups and of course um, how good you are I think the biggest one is only for professionals if this distant marker is right it says 70 so from the jump there until there it's already 70 meters so let me guess right down there before the break-even point or the the finishing point where you should land it's about what 100 110 meters by the distance to fly in the air so they have one more information placard there history wise i guess so the first the first loop uh chance was built there 1908 the big one came in 1923 32 they already made jumps 50 meter wide then 63 third phase they made jumps from 75 meters okay and standing there now 94 now the fourth phase until or where let's say the the final like we can see it now it's possible to jump uh, up to 90 meter for uh, technical data uh, you can see children uh, school kids middle and big one and you said the, the technical right term is key point right so that's the point where where you should land afterwards it's becoming unsafe like I said it's not going down there, and there anymore so it's flat and if you're flying like this and crushing into flat this will hurt if you come in with the steep one it can go like this and it takes out the force which you which you bring in from flying so maybe even when we come back for the museum in the winter uh, we have a chance to take another look it looks much more impressive when there's snow so we for sure will come back but the same like with the museum and uh, the tower it's nice nicely embedded within the woods even so of course they had to take out some woods still i think it's not too bad within the nature and if you don't put your waste and your trash into the woods i think it's not a too bad place okay so now back to the car and off to the next stop not sure if you can see this i was just at the parking ticket booth and the bus that just passed on by i heard exactly that noise I was slightly irritated when the man stepped out of the bus with you see it right with a parrot on his shoulder somebody tell me what this is about because I have no clue it's just taking I lost him ah there he is it's just taking his parrot for a stroll why not of course I sometimes do this as well So one more step over, stop over before the next point. Just right in between lies this little lake. As you can see, uh, paddle boats you can rent there. It's not too big, but it's a nice atmosphere. The tower we've seen before from the tower down there. It's really embedded in between those mountains. As you can see, little hotel, chance to eat something, drink something, even bicycle riders are up here. And on the other side, 
that's more of the interesting look well this is quite nice just a little walk around and I'm sure there's a way up there until the tower we won't be taking this today there's another platform up there for sightseeing let me see if I can catch it there but one more thing let's just on the other side let's take a quick look in case I didn't mention Mumilzi, that's the name of the place in between there and like I said that's just the road there and then just let the cars pass on by as much as impressive as from down the castles we have been before just on the other side of the road you can see the back side well not as good as I imagined I'm sorry but from down back there we came as you can see they're still actively bringing rocks out of the mountains and one of the parts well like I said what we saw from the, from the castles already and again from the tower and even more so here you can see the different what we call it mountain tops the back sides of the mountain and the different shapes all over there tick 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 and in this direction so that's uh, the middle part of the of the blackwood forest right the, the castles were in the northern part this is the the middle part uh, we'll see when we go for the Tadam part and uh, Bodensee we'll check it out but just wanted to have a quick stop over like I said Mummelsee also a real nice stop so and on to the next stop so the plant stop number two inside the woods parking spot is down there and uh, that's what we want to check out next. English explanation. They have quite a lot. So we can see it's internationals. Three top three top walks a week. I don't know the ones in Germany, Bavaria, North Germany. That's ours, that's what we're coming to. I've got a lot of walking for me. <laughs> it's one there. Another one. Oh at the sea even. Right. So let's check this out. Again, whatever you do, don't look down. Now it's not not even a short walk like in the museum. Now it's leading you really right in between the woods. You can hear the birds. See a lot small town down there and really right in between the woods took me one hour to get here from I don't know museum way down there took a long road trip within between the woods you cannot drive so fast birds sound really nice It's 
So, this is 12 meter above the ground. And I can tell you, it's moving. It's not steady. <laughs> Some explanations. You really get close to the trees. I guess in not so busy times you'll be able, able to see some of the animals from the woods. Probably not today. Well, what time is it now? 2.30 in the afternoon. Not sure how active they are. Nice view. And as you can see, slowly getting higher. Let's see where the next placard is. Telling me how high we are now. Can see the town there. Seventeen meters now, <laughs> and still climbing, going up, up, and away. Different ages of the trees. See, same sort of trees. Don't know the age difference. Quite sure a lot. One here. natural path going in between and the rocks you can see what it's built on mostly wood <laughs> only holding together with a bunch of screws of course some netting protection nobody falls down there at least not easy Then we have some sort of stations in between, some some educational stuff. Explaining. <laughs> Giving you an idea of the different, is it called fruits of the trees? what they're growing the nice skin it's giving you ideas from the colors yeah Buche, Weißtanne and Fichte <laughs> smelling station <laughs> So first, first you smell, and then honey. It's nice. That's really smelling like that. What we got here? Fichtenhalle. So that's that. Oh, you see, they try. They try to tease them. One more in there. Trying to get them casually here to eat some so you can see them, squirrels. I think maybe in a moment too many people. You guys tell me if you see them and I don't. <laughs> and still, don't look down. Still climbing up. <laughs> That's a pathway in between the mountains, leading down there to the to the town.
that's the next placard. Let's see. I would guess like at least 25 meters now. What we got? Oh shit. No, it's only 18. But it's looking deep. <laughs> and it's climbing. By the way, you pay a little entrance fee. But I think for keeping this up, maintaining this path, it's absolutely okay. Not sure if they're open in the winter because they're talking about season types. So, I'm not sure if you can visit them when there could be some snow. Oh, wow. Interesting. <laughs> so, something for the brave people. <laughs> But you have handlebars, different steps, but you can look down to the ground. Only a net in between. Don't look down. Some trees laying there, the same like in the museum before. Again, a good chance you see all these wooden planks in between. The platform itself moving, and now we have moving grounds. And climbing, it's all moving. Still climbing. Still not looking down. Not sure how funny birds are if they get a joke <laughs> of these bird houses. Maybe, maybe not. So I think this one I cannot do one handed. As you can see. <laughs> it's not so deep anymore now. But again changing conditions with in between the woods and the stones and whatnot. Sure not to see any animals today. Right in front of me a group with a little child who are really screaming loudly. I'm not sure if you can hear them. You probably can. I don't know. That's nice. Finding tracks in the woods. First you can guess by yourself. Afterwards you have the placard here. No. How's it working? <laughs> I don't know. Well, no explanation. I was hoping you can pull up something. Is it? No, it's not coming off. To explain what we see, it's some sort of deer, but the rest, there's some more deer, wild pigs, again deer, but the rest, fox, I wouldn't know how a fox looks like. Unfortunately, no explanation.
<laughs> it's a dark and bright. Find the deer. I think early in the morning, maybe you could see some. Like I said, with such many people walking around loud here. Surely, well, they they get used to it by time, I guess. But also, in a way, they will avoid it. Even though the larger deer, they have no natural animals here. Uh, and natural animals. No natural enemies. We don't have any, any wolves or stuff. You can hear that. That's ah, because they have a slide there. From down of this big thing. I showed you on the placard at the entrance. So with fox and everything, hunting only smaller animals, maybe some sort of rabbits or whatnot. That's part of the, of the winter stuff, going up there for skiing or whatnot. Well, here we are. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. But we want to rock and roll today. So we take the long way. All up there. But we won't look down. A little station there. If you need a drink. Okay, so children playground. That's why it's a little bit more noisy. Let's get up. What the heck? View 360 number two of the day. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, excuse me. Didn't want to curse. Look at this view. Coming from all the way down there. That's southeast. And I got these placards describing the direction you're looking at. Not sure what that is. But the round view, it's crazy. But like I said before, don't look down. That's a little easier to see from here. That's another. Not, not another, that's a hanging bridge. Cannot see all the way, but now with people walking on it, it's pretty easy to see. Probably there's some sort of canyon or whatnot. I will see if I find some information downstairs here. Where is this leading to? That's the way we came up. Information board. Nearly every information board is about the wood, what it can do, what it's good for, some history parts. Kaltenbrunn, that's another mountain top down there, nine kilometers. You can see where this is going to. Like I said, the different mountain tops coming in between. 
what's a lot of the readings is this, this, this part, this part of the wood. It's a really, well, not, not special one, but um, some, some of the healthiest one because it's, uh, it's a mixed wood. We have uh, leaf trees, we have needle trees and all of different sorts. So they're all combining together. It's also good for having all different kind of animals attracting to the woods and um, yeah, giving, giving them different living grounds. So that makes it interesting. That's the pathway we came, the wooden path, all the way down from in between there. As you can see, there's another lift station. So probably for skiing in the winter. Did not yet see where the sloop is. Maybe it's a really small one going down there. station and that's the round way up and down here in between nearly the same like on the other one well the trees not coming as close as the one we've been before but still you're in between them like I said you can see different ones with the leaves and with the needles really interesting And the way back just leads on a little path also throughout the woods. As you can see also here they're trying to leave it as natural as possible. Let the trees fall as they fall. Let they rot. So that gives a lot more possibilities for all the animals and whatnot. Quite nice rocky bridge in between there. We will cross it in a moment. Just wanted to show that. Well, another thing that gets modern within these days. As you can see there, the green pole. That's the way for the ski lift coming up there. The station right up there and right here to the side. A lot of mountains have these for the summer times. Well, this is a little bit blocked off, don't know why. But here is the track for those guys rushing down the mountains with the modern mountain bikes, helmet, and then going downhill. And that's just right on the side where our way was coming down. Nice pathway. And as you can see, up there is the bridge. The bridge way so you're crisscross trespassing <laughs> no not trespassing just crisscrossing the way of the bridge and the way this walkway goes down the mountain within the woods a little more look of the construction of this bridge as you can see surely 90 percent wood the main structure and only the important holdings steel frame so they last a little longer and they will meet any safety issues but as you can see even within between for stiffing reasons they, they use locks different walkways down here 
Now the children are gone from the playground, so it's a little, a little more quieter. Quite rocky, maybe the same as I showed you before, right in my area, in the northern part of the of the Blackwood, where we also had the ox barn and whatnot. The way going all over there. So, walking back to my car, putting the next stop into the navigation system because within within the woods. I'm not so clear about the ways where to go and where to find places. Like I said, I'd like to visit the two left monasteries, abbeys, however you want to call them. You decide after you see them. I just saw a couple of pictures in the internet and I find it really interesting. Got kind of the same charm those castles in my area have. So that's why I'd like to take a closer look. I combined it, so we have a different topic. A lot of nature here. Kind of way how to look at it modern. With, uh, yeah, how to say it nicely, the ambiance of how to build within the nature and disturbing the nature with it as minimal as possible. So using a lot of woods, trying to be not disturbing peace and have the animals and whatnot around it. Their natural environment so they don't feel humans too much. Well, don't feeling them is impossible because as you can see we have our walkways within the woods where their pathways are. But I think they get used to it. They know our sounds, they know our smell. Long way before we even have a chance to see them. They notice us and they're gone. They don't want to be seen. And um, yeah. So we're back at the entrance of this walkway directly down below is the parking spot 3.30 now that's a good time still early I'll check out if I can grab coffee somewhere on the way and see I think it's like 20 minutes to the next stop not a big deal just a second abbey I'm not sure how far away it is We'll see if we can make it. And as you know me, the uh, yeah, way is not always going as expected. Side stops happening were not expected. Let's find it out.